Hello dear students, welcome back to our uh, interfacing course about uh, IO and sensor session. Okay. So, in this session we are going to discuss about low level or you can say general purpose input output devices, okay. very simple types of input outputs like LED or uh, matrix display or matrix keypad something like this, okay. very simple input output devices. And after this session, on next session, we will be able, we will be discussing sensors. Okay. So, low level I.O. or general purpose I.O. <coughs> you can understand, actually I.O. can be in or out, that means either input or output. So, there are some common types of I.O. is mentioned here, one is matrix keypad, LEDs, LCDs. So, these are the main or uh, very simple types of our commonly used IO devices with a macro controlling device or macro controller. Okay. So, take a look on this figure. In this figure, it discussed about address bus, control bus and data bus. How IO things are connected with a microprocessing unit by using three kinds of buses. You can see here, first address bus need to select some IO devices. You can see here, there are two types of I.O. One is input device which is dip switches, eight dip switches are there and another one is LEDs, okay, eight LEDs are there. So, you can think uh, and when all these things are connected with a single port, then it is called a port like eight pins become a port, okay. So, input devices are connected with the port upper port we can say here according to this figure upper port and the 8 pins of LED is connected with the lower port of a controlling system. So, this device, this IO interfacing unit only need to address either the upper one or the lower one. So, you can see there are two connections with the address decoder, one with the input port and another one with the output port. Okay. And there are two pins, two control pins. One is for read, another one is write. Since the deep switches are input device, so only the read control connections have the connection with the deep switches. And since LEDs are output, that's why the right control connection is connected with the output port. Okay. Now the data bus, data bus is common both for input and output. So when a processor will address output device by using the address bus and send a command for write, then only the data bus then through the data bus, it will send the data from the microprocessing unit to the IO port, that means the output port, then the LED. But when it will read, at that time, first it will address the input ports, that means the upper one, then it will send read signal, not write signal read signal to the input port at that time the dip switches the input from the dip switches will come to the microprocessing unit through the IO port by using the data bus that is the concept of this figure okay this is also discussed in this slide in this configuration so you can understand by reading what I have said previously it is written here okay I think you will be able to understand it now, in this session, I am going to discuss about this kind of output devices. Okay. So, common output devices are LED. So, we are going to discuss LED first. Then the seven segment display commonly used. Okay. Also, alphanumeric display, which is also actually the part of uh, or the same kind of or same type of output devices like seven segment display. Then we are going to discuss about matrix display, which is a bit interesting. And then the liquid crystal display, which is very important in every almost whatever 
uh, whatever embedded system you build or whatever peripheral system you will build, most of the cases it require it should have a liquid piece of LCD output, LCD display output. Okay, so this is very very important. And then I will just show you how a buzzer can be connected with a microcontroller. Then I will show you how a DC motor can be connected with a microcontroller by using a motor controller. Then the servo motor, how a servo motor can be connected with a microcontroller. And lastly, we are going to discuss about how a stepper motor can be connected with a microcontroller by using uh, micro, yeah, uh, motor controller. Okay, so these are the things we are going to cover. These are the output units we are going to cover in this session. And there are some other input devices that we are going to cover, maybe some other part of this lecture. Here, we are interfacing LEDs with a computing system or microprocessing unit. So, each microprocessing unit, the interfacing part is called actually four. So, if we see, if we call the, this is a microprocessing unit, then usually whatever microprocessing unit we use in, in current world, usually most of them have three units okay, or three ports. So, these are called ports and every port actually have eight pins or you can say eight bits. Okay, so you can see we can configure the LEDs in this 8 bit. Okay, but for LED, the configuration can be either common cathode or can be configured as common anode. Like if we consider here, I am just showing you with uh, two LED example. Like, oh, okay, you, we are we are using resistor so that the LED does not get burned okay, for how to say fluctuation of the current flow or the voltage. Okay. So, every LED should have a resistor. I am just showing you by two LEDs by common cathode. Okay. So, if we consider this part as cathode, these two cathodes will be together and we can connect a negative terminal of a power source. So, when we will give one, that means the 5 volt will come from here and it will turn on this LED. In common, cathode configuration. Okay, in the same way, if we give 0, that means it became grounded. So, here is ground, here is also ground, it will not glow. Okay, so for common cathode, we can configure in this way. But for common anode, but for common, common anode, what will happen? Let us see. Actually, this thing is connected with a VCC or you can say 5 volt. Okay. And so the negative part will be connected with the same ground. With the same ground. So now what will happen? Let us see what happened. When we will give one here. When we will give one here, so here is 5 volt, here is also 5 volt, okay, 5 volt, 5 volt, turn off, okay. But if we give 0 here, that means it will be internally grounded, okay, if you will give 0 here. Internally grounded means, so here is 5 volt and internally grounded, it will blow. So, for common anode configuration, when we will give one at that time, the LED will turn off. But if we will give zero, LED will turn on. 
for common cathode configuration when we will give one turn on zero turn off okay so these two way we can connect leds with our microcontroller unit okay and yeah so this port that means the eight eight led together in a single port like port a or you can say this one is port a this can be we can call it b and this thing we can call by port c okay so this is important because all of the uh, uh, seven segment display or alphanumeric display or even matrix display all use the same common anode same same com common uh, common cathode configuration 